Since the pandemic, the transportation and logistics industry has been facing profound market changes that require a rethinking of business models and work processes. This video shows you the role that artificial intelligence and automation can play in this transformation process. The pressure on the transportation and logistics industry grows along five axes. Exploding energy costs and general inflation are squeezing margins. Customers have higher service expectations. They demand faster response times, more flexibility and more personalization. Due to the current wave of retirements, there is already a shortage of staff in certain areas, and this trend will intensify in the coming years. Increasing digitalization and rapid changes in the market are opening the door to new, agile players that are putting pressure on long-established companies. Companies must comply with new regulations that are constantly enacted at national, European and international level. AI and intelligent automation offer a unique opportunity to overcome the current challenges in the transportation and logistics industry. They help companies improve the efficiency of their work processes and the productivity of their employees so that they can remain competitive in this demanding environment. At Cortical IO, we have developed semantic AI software that has been successfully helping companies from various industries to automate document-centric processes for over a decade, including in the logistics sector. For example, Cortical IO has helped an international transportation company to significantly improve service quality by automating the processing of hundreds of thousands of emails every day. In another case, the handling of millions of shipments was made much more efficient by automatically extracting key information from transport documents. Cortical IOAI software can help you improve the efficiency of your text-heavy processes and increase the productivity of your teams within a few weeks. Get in touch with one of our experts right away.